Hey everybody and welcome back to Prep to Me Easy. If you're interested to see how I made this coaster mold and these coasters, stand by. to complete this project will include epoxy so this project I'll be using resin rocks rockers epoxy um, it is a one-to-one -one ratio I will be using a um, coaster mold I purchased this mold off of Amazon and it came with two coasters and then the mold um, but this mold holds four so if I wanted to or I definitely probably will I'll after this these two cure I'll have to redo the um, you reuse this to make four um, but some of them do come with four I believe but just you know check on Amazon and see which ones come with four and which ones kind of fit your budget um, you'll need some alcohol so you can use 70% to 91% alcohol to reduce any bubbles you'll need any type of additive like mica powders alcohol inks acrylic paint uh, whatever you choose to do to, you know, make your coasters look pretty. You can also put stuff in there, shell, sand, um, grass, whatever you want to put in your coaster, you can put in there. You'll need something to mix your epoxy with your additive. And let me see. I think that is it. If I am missing anything, I will definitely put it down in the description box below. All right. Now that that is out of the way, let's get started. All right, so I already have my epoxy mixed up and this has been sitting here for quite a while. I am in a well-ventilated area with two large windows behind me. This epoxy does have a low BOC, um, but you still wanna use what it says is 100% BOC and low odor. I honestly don't smell anything. Um, so, but you still wanna protect yourself the best way you can, like with a respirator mask, using it in outdoor spaces, especially if you are highly sensitive to smells. All right, so to do the coaster mold, you'll flip it upside down because this is where you'll pour your epoxy right in here. And then, of course, the coasters you'll pour here. The thing I like about this, um, I'm trying to see if something is in here. Okay. The thing I like about this epoxy is it has a long work time. It has a 50 to 60 minute work time. And the bubbles like to rise to the top. And um, it's supposed to be like crystal clear. All right, so it does say that it has a crystal clear super gloss finish. So we shall see what it looks like using this um, epoxy, you know, doing this project, how it kind of turns out. Because I'll be using a little bit of satin silver white mica powder. And I'll be using the sunshine golden. Um, you have seen me use this sunshine golden a lot. I really, 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 really love this color. It is so freaking pretty. Um, so I kind of use it whenever I can and I wanted to match something so that's why I'm going to use it for this particular project but again like I said you can use any type of um additive that you want a little goes a long way so don't use too much I'm just going to put a little bit in there that's probably a little bit too much so I'm going to scoop some out all right and then I'm going to put some white in the other one and this is a suit set in silver white, so it has like a little hint of silver. All right. All right, I'm just going to sit that to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and pour my epoxy into my little mixing cups. Now, if you don't want to pour any into a mixing cup, you can just straight pour it into your epoxy. Um, I am using... 180 milliliters of epoxy it may be a little bit too much um, but I'm not sure so I just mix more than um, I probably need it but if I do have any left over I'm going to just roll it over to another project because I have not used this coaster before so I don't know exactly how many liters or milliliters I should say it holds um, someone did a long time ago put in my comments that they pour water into their molds to see how much um, a project may need, and that's a really good idea. I just didn't do it for this particular project. 
It has some glitter in it, probably from where I had it sitting at. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up. And once it's mixed up to my liking, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. Now, like I said, this epoxy has a long work time. So if you do use this epoxy, you do not have to rush. And I love that. Cause you can let it sit for a little bit longer to get, um, you know, any bubbles out. So I like that. I don't like those ones that you gotta work in like 20 minutes and ugh, God. next thing you know, the whole cup hot and <laughs> all your epoxy art. And you're like, it's been 20 minutes, God damn. So I probably will, um, if it turns out clear, like it says, I might redo my chest board with this epoxy. I'll probably have to buy some more because that chessboard did eat up a lot of epoxy. But um, I had to rush with that, trying to get that together because my epoxy kept setting while I was trying to do it, which can be very frustrating. All right, so I'm just making sure I got it all mixed up. And just look at that gold. Oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna move that to the side. I'm gonna pull this here. And I'm actually gonna pour a little clear in the cup. And I'm trying not to make a mess, but of course, if you watch my channel enough, you know I can't <laughs> help but make a little mess. All right, and then I'm just gonna pour a little clear. That was right on the money. That was. <laughs> yep, I used 180 milliliters and that literally filled up the whole coaster and two coasters. So that was right on the money as far as how much epoxy was needed for this project. So just know that you'll need at least 180 milliliters to complete the mold and at least two coasters. All right, so I'm gonna just leave this alone. Okay. So I'm gonna just leave this alone and let this sit for about 24 to um, 24 hours, cause that's what it states. 24 hours for the first cure and uh, for, it says rock hard cure within 24 hours. So um, I'm gonna let it go ahead and do its thing and then I will come back tomorrow and demold it. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all then.
Hey everybody. All right, so it has been 24 hours and it is time to demold these coasters. I need to get a new cutting board, y'all. I got so much epoxy on this freaking board. Maybe I'll try to sand it down or something to save it. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's start with the coasters. So that's one coaster. I think that's really cute. And look how there are no bubbles. Well, it is one bubble. I lied. One bubble right there. But other than that, that thing is clear. Now, I could have put some more epoxy on there because you see it has like a little lip. This one is kind of smooth. So this one was filled up. But this one, I could have put a little bit more epoxy on there. Let me just look at it close up. This is so pretty. So look at that. Do I got a piece of white paper? Here we go. Look at that color in there. And no bubbles in this one. None. And I didn't make two more. I just wanted to go ahead and demold this before I made two more to complete the set, but I'll do that off camera. All right, and let's go ahead and demold the coaster holder. Lord, this is kind of tricky. All right. Oh my God, this is so pretty, y'all. Just looking at it up close to see if there's any bubbles no like some of my mica it looks like it didn't mix I didn't mix so it looks like something is on it but it's just the mica powder oh my god look how pretty that is and I like the way where I was like trying to stuff it down <laughs> into the um, mold it made like little divots in the um gold so it looks like it was wavy look at that and i don't see any little micro bubbles y'all this might be one of my favorite epoxies i just need to see what the heat resistance is on it um for like if you're making tumblers or whatever, but I don't make a lot of um, epoxy tumblers, so it really did, wouldn't mean a lot to me. But you know, in case one of y'all are out there trying to, you know, make tumblers and stuff and you need to know what the epoxy heat resistance is, I will look that up or ask them the question um, via their website and see what they say. Um, but this sucker is crystal clear, like, <laughs> All I see is the um, mica powder, like the glitter in the mica powder. That's all I really see, y'all. No micro bubbles. So this one and that Paduo that I found on Amazon are like my top two epoxies to get like a crystal clear finish. And this is what the coaster holder will look like. It'll look more... This is one I just did um, to kind of get rid of some epoxy. It's not the full size of coaster, but if I make another coaster, it'll um, go right there. So that's how it looks. Oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> y'all, this is so pretty, but yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about the um, epoxy that I use, about the um, mold that I did. Now I think my mold has like a little dent or something. Let me look at it. Because I got this mold off of Amazon. So I want to say my, yeah, it has like a little imperfection with the um, mold. Because on the bottom, you can see it's like a little dented. It's not as circular as it should be. So it must have like a little imperfection in the mold. But um, other than that, this thing is so pretty. Ugh. I love it. Anyway, y'all, that is the project because I can keep telling you over and over again how much I love it and how pretty it is and how crystal clear it is. 
but y'all don't want to hear me say that over and over again y'all can just try it out for yourselves i'm sorry about my phone in the background it's like every time i get on this camera my phone wants to buzz but um try it out for yourselves like i said i am not being paid to promote this at all i just saw it on their ig page and i decided to go ahead and purchase it and it does live up to what it says that it is crystal clear super gloss finish and that is exactly what it is this is beautiful 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 even the one that i did um just to kind of get rid of the rest of the resin came out perfect so no um bubbles or anything like that no micro bubbles nothing like that so i am definitely about to use this with my keychains my bookmarkers all of that stuff so be on the lookout for those videos coming up soon um yeah but if you try this resin and you want to show it off in a group or you try these coaster molds and you want to try it off excuse me show it off in a group go ahead and um join the group it is um excuse me i'm all tongue-tied now <laughs> go ahead and join the group it is called craft and made easy it's on facebook spelled the same way it is on this channel um, and go ahead and answer the three questions and I'll go ahead and allow you to enter into the group. You can post all of your projects there. Any questions you may have for the group or for me in particular, um, you can post anything craft related in that group. Um, also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, but you are watching my videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. I try to drop new craft videos every Tuesday and Friday. Um, I did drop a video last night on Monday, uh, so that will count as the Tuesday video, but typically I try to drop videos on my craft channel every Tuesday and Friday. Um, and if I am not able to post the video, I will definitely put it in the community post so you'll, you are aware. Um, also, um, if you ended up liking this project, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button along with the share button. All right, y'all, until next time, peace.